Lesson nine: Viewpoint and stance of considering man's activity as the main. This lesson, we are going to study the viewpoint and stance of considering man's activity as the main. The viewpoint and stance of dealing with the change and development of the world, mainly on the basis of the activity of man who transforms it, is for man to play the role as the transformer of the world. Leader Kim Jong Il said. Approaching the world by focusing on man means dealing with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of the activity of man who transforms it. Dealing with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of the activity of man who transforms it means dealing with the change and development of the world in view of the activity of man who transforms the world. Purposefully and consciously, in conformity with his will and demands. The viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world, mainly on the basis of activity of man, is the viewpoint and stand of approaching the world in view that world is transformed and developed into the world for man only by his activity. Man's positive action and role are decisive factors. That transform the world in accordance with his independent demands and interests. The world cannot be transformed and developed in favor of man without his positive activity. The viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of man's activity is also the viewpoint and stand of considering man's positive activity as the most powerful and dynamic factor and relying on it. To enlist all other factors in all cognitive and practical activities, the viewpoint and stance of approaching the world from the view of man's positive activity enables to find the decisive factor that transforms the world, not in objective conditions but in man. Objective conditions can act on the spontaneous movement and change of material world by themselves. But cannot do on the domination and transformation of the world of their own accord. It is because they can affect the domination and transformation of the world only when they are cognized and utilized by man. One should deal with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of man's activity, because man is the most powerful being in the world, and only man is able to transform the world. There exist numerous natural beings in the world. However, all of them except man have no strength to transform the surrounding world in conformity with their demands. As he has independence, creativity, and consciousness, man is the most powerful being in the world, who is capable of transforming the world in accordance with his demands and interests. It is man. Who demands and brings about transformation of the world? With demands to live independently, free from natural factors and social subordination, and with powerful creative strengths to bring the demands into reality, man transforms nature and society and carves out his destiny. The world is transformed into the world for man, thanks to such creative activity of man, the most powerful being in the world. Hence. One should deal with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of man's activity. The viewpoint and stance of approaching the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of man's activity include two basic requirements. President Kim Il Sung said, "Man is the most powerful being in the world, and everything in the world." Can only be changed in his favor by his creative activities. Therefore, in all the activities to transform nature and society, the first process must be to train man to be more powerful being, and all problems arising in the revolution in construction must be solved by increasing man's creative role. One of the main requirements in the viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world. Mainly on the basis of man's activity, is to regard it as the first process in all activities of transforming nature and society to train man into more powerful being. 
regarding it as the first process to train man into more powerful being means that primary concern should be directed to the bolstering up of man's strengths in making full preparations for transforming the surrounding world. Man's strength itself is mental strength and creativity in general. Creativity is the ability to cognize the surrounding world on a scientific basis and to make the news ceaselessly, whereas mental strength is the strength of self-awareness and will befitting the master of one's own destiny. In order to transform nature and society, it is imperative to regard it as the first process to train man into more powerful being. Man sees, hears, feels, and accepts as much as he knows, and makes as much practical activities as he is prepared scientifically and technically. The more powerful mental strengths and the higher creativity he has, the more accurately man grasps the law of movements of the world and the more effectively man transforms nature and society. Education is the most typical form of training man into more powerful being. Conducting successfully the education that trains man into more powerful being is immediately a thoroughgoing application of the main requirements of the Zutze oriented viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world, mainly on the basis of man's activity. Another of the main requirements in the viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world, mainly on the basis of man's activity, is to solve all problems rising in cognition and practice by enhancing his creative role. The fundamental method of correctly solving all problems in transforming and developing the world is to make man conduct positive activities with a high sense of self-awareness. Here, making him display strong mental strengths is of more significance. Giving full play to creativity is inconceivable without displaying mental strengths. Man is unable to brave, encounter difficulties and fully utilize the might of material and technical means unless he displays his mental strengths and creativity to the full. Today, man's role to change and develop the world has been enhanced remarkably. The people should give full play to his mental strengths and creativity, not being contented with the success they made already in transforming the world. Only then, they can give fullest play to their capability in transforming and developing the world. Two aspects of the viewpoint and stand towards the world are closely related with each other. The viewpoint and stand of approaching the world proceeding from man's interest regulate the viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of man's activity. If man fails to have the viewpoint of giving top priority to his interests, he is unable to give a full play to his creative ability and enthusiasm for himself. The viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world, mainly on the basis of man's activity, guarantee the viewpoint and stand of approaching the world proceeding from his interests. It is possible to approach the world proceeding from man's interests only when the viewpoint and stand of regarding man's activity as the main is maintained. It is also possible to transform the world to make it serve him only by his creative activity. Therefore, only when the change and development of the world is dealt with mainly on the basis of man's activity, is it possible to approach the world proceeding from his interests. The Zutsi oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world is the original viewpoint and stand that expounded correctly the scientific methodology of all cognitive and practical activities of man for the first time in history. The Zutsi oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world is the most scientific philosophical methodology for all cognitive and practical activities of man. 
The duty-oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world is the scientific methodology that embodied man's nature correctly. Man's nature should be correctly embodied if the viewpoint and stand towards the world is to be scientific. This is because the cognitive and practical activities of man are the process of fully displaying his independent, creative, and conscious nature. Man's cognitive and practical activities are the process of setting up aim for cognizing and transforming things and phenomena in the world with his independent demands and interests and of enlisting his creativity to realize the aim purposefully and consciously. The viewpoint and stand towards the world proceeding from man's interest thoroughly applies independence and creativity, the nature of man. The duty-oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world is the scientific methodology based on the correct view on the world. It is the view on the world clarified by the Zutte philosophy that man is an early master, the early transformer of the world, with independence, creativity, and consciousness, and the world is dominated and transformed inevitably by man. The viewpoint and stand of considering and approaching the world from the view of man's interests are always derived from the view that the world is dominated by man. The viewpoint and stand of dealing with the change and development of the world from the view of man's positive activity are originated from the view that the world is transformed by man. The duty oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world is revolutionary indeed. It is because it makes the people have high sense of self-awareness of being masters of the world and their destiny. The man-centered viewpoint and attitude towards the world clarified that one should approach the world proceeding from man's interest and deal with the change and development of the world mainly on the basis of his activity, thus making the people have sense of high self-consciousness of being masters of the world and destiny. The duty-oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world becomes the most revolutionary one because it makes the people transform the world and shape their destiny with success. The man-centered viewpoint and stand towards the world makes man transform the world with his own efforts in conformity with his demands and interests and thus illuminates the road ahead of the people to transform the world independently, creatively, and consciously, and carve out their destiny with success by giving full play to their independence, creativity, and consciousness. The Zutte-based viewpoint and stand towards the world is original. There were different types of world outlook in history, but they failed to give the viewpoint and stand of approaching the world with a man at the center. The man-centered viewpoint and stand towards the world were elucidated newly by the Zutze philosophy. The Zutze philosophy could be the perfect philosophy first in history as it explained original viewpoint and stand towards the world with a man at the center. The Zutze philosophy becomes a new and original philosophy distinctive from all preceding philosophies as it clarified in an integrated and systematized way the duty-oriented viewpoint towards the world and the fundamental standpoint and stand to be adhered to in cognizing and transforming the world. The viewpoint and stand towards the world could be presented as an independent component of a philosophical world outlook for the first time in history thanks to the duty-oriented viewpoint and stand towards the world. Thank you for this lesson. Next lesson, we will study the popular masses, the subject of history.